Hey guys, in this video we're gonna make some dog jerky. It's super easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, drying it a couple different ways and also forming it a couple different ways. So let's take a look. Here I have uh, some ground meat. This is a 90-10, uh, so it's 10% uh, fat. You wanna make sure you use 10% fat or less. Uh, it will help make the jerky last longer once it's finished drying. And normally when we make jerky, we use a lot of different seasonings, uh, but for dogs, we do not wanna do that. So there are only a couple you wanna use. I have some cinnamon here, and we're just gonna mix a tablespoon or two, or a teaspoon or two with some water uh, with the pound of meat. And um, that's all we're gonna use as seasoning. So let's get started by uh, mixing the ground meat. Throw that in here. And we're just gonna mix the water. And put on a glove. So we're gonna be uh, flattening this out on this sheet over here. All right, so mix that up a little bit. And pour it all over the meat. Okay, what you wanna do is just make sure that it's uh, thoroughly mixed together. Uh, make sure the cinnamon and the water, the water's not going to do do much in here other than help that cinnamon disperse throughout the meat. Just make sure that it's mixed real well and then we're going to go ahead and flatten it out and make it ready for putting on the dehydrator as well as the oven trays. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this sheet, it's just a baking cookie sheet with tin foil on top. Just put some Pam spray down. Uh, there's two different ways you can go ahead and form this uh, dog jerky. One is by hand or using a roller pin. Uh, the other is with a jerky gun. So first I'll show you how to, how to do it just by hand. This is, if you're only making a pound, this is super fast, very easy to do. Um, here, I'll take about half of our meat, put it down here. And all you wanna do is make sure that you flatten this out to about a quarter inch. Um, anywhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch thick, and that's the best uh, thickness for making jerky. Just flatten it out with your hand. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just score this. You can do it with a knife. Uh, I like using just a pizza cutter and score it into a couple strips, maybe an inch wide. And then for ease of putting them on the uh, dehydrator oven trays, maybe three inches long. Okay, so once it's scored, we're gonna just use a dull knife here to help pick the pieces up. And I'm gonna dry this, some of it in the oven and some of it on a dehydrator. And so just make sure you get the strips up. Doesn't matter if they uh, fall apart a little bit. At the end, we're gonna cut them into pieces. So the shape really doesn't matter much. Okay, so that's uh, the first way of doing it, just flattening out by hand, putting on the trays, and then we'll put them in the dehydrator or oven. Uh, now I'm gonna grab my jerky gun. If you're making a lot more jerky, uh, this might be the better way to go. So let me grab that and show you how to do it. Okay, so what I have here is a jerky gun. Uh, we have one here, a jerky holic, and this is great for making a lot of uh, either dog jerky or regular jerky. And all you're gonna do is load this tube here with ground meat, push it in the end, and you're going to keep loading it until you're done. Okay, so once you have all of the ground meat inside of the gun, we're going to go ahead and put on the nozzle and the top. And these are a lot of fun to use. All right, and all you're going to do is just keep pulling on the trigger and it's going to extrude the jerky. And then when you want to stop, Break the piece off and then keep going. We'll put some on our oven. Okay, and once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Just preheat the oven to anywhere between 180 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and then once that, that's done preheating, we're gonna throw these in uh, on the middle uh, rack. And we'll also get our dehydrator going. You can just follow your dehydrator's instructions, but normally just run this on high. 
Uh, you do want to heat this jerky up to 160 degrees internal. So let's get this started and uh, start making some dog jerky. All right, so here we have it on the trays. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Snack Master. Uh, this is a Nesco dehydrator. We're gonna turn it to the highest setting, which is 160 degrees. We're gonna let it run for about three or four hours. We'll start checking it after about three hours to see if it's finished. So let's get this started, and then we're gonna put the uh, jerky in the oven. All right, so once it's done preheating, just go ahead and put the jerky in the oven. And then instead of closing the door all the way, you're gonna prop it open with a wooden spoon. And what that does is that lets out, there we go. That's gonna let out any moisture that's in there and help the jerky dry. All right guys, we finished making the jerky for our dog. And uh, what we have here is the jerky that came out of the oven as well as the dehydrator. And they took about three and a half hours each to dry. And what you're looking for in a dried piece of uh, jerky is just that it rips apart just like that and is dried all the way through. The best thing to do is just take a piece out, uh, let it cool for five minutes and then test it. If it's still warm, it's gonna feel like it's not finished. So make sure you take a piece out, let it dry for about five minutes. Um, that's really all there is too, to making jerky for your dog. It's very simple. Um, they're gonna love it. And if you wanna just keep it in the fridge, it'll last longer since it doesn't have any salt like regular jerky. Uh, it's better and it'll stay longer if you keep it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag. Uh, you can also cut it with scissors just into small pieces. Um, it'll make feeding the dog a lot easier. Uh, I know our dog loves it and I hope yours does too.